Okay, so let's chat about video pin specs. So the file types required for video pins on Pinterest are MP4, MOV files, or M4B files. They do have a file size of two gigs max, and this is your encoding, whatever that means. And then this is really what I wanted to call your attention to. The length of the video pin can be four seconds to 15 minutes. The longer the video pin, the longer it's going to take to be approved. So the shorter the video pin, the quicker it gets approved, right? The recommended length for video pins though are six seconds to 15 seconds long. And this is the same for video pin ads as well. Video pins are actually excellent for advertising and I have found that they actually do better than static pins when it comes to advertising for some of our clients, especially e-commerce stores. So I will make sure to link this link to this article to the Help Pinterest um, blog post and my blog post in the description of this video below if you wanted to come in here and read more about all the aspect ratios and encoding and all of that stuff. So I have four pre-prepared videos for you that I want to walk you through exactly what I did with each. So the very first example is probably the easiest video pin type to create. And that is simply an animated video pin. So when you download this, you download it as either a GIF or an MP4 file. I suggest just using an MP4 file because with videos you get to use tags, which we'll talk a bit more about later. Now, to animate any pin that you create, any static pin, you simply choose the element that you want to animate and click animate. And then you can animate that individual one. Now, if you want to animate the entire pin, all you have to do is click animate here, and then you can choose any of these animations on this screen. So I would just personally, if I were you, this is what I do for clients. I would just animate a single element. That way the whole thing isn't crazy. Now, something else that you can do to animate pins is actually use like arrows. So moving arrows. And then if you have like a PDF document that you're trying to outline on the pin, if you have, um, you know, a call to action that you want to call people's attention to, you could just use like a moving arrow like this one and then download that and publish that as a video pin. All right, so those are animated pins. So that's example number one. Example number two is using a Canva stock video. So again, I'm using one of my pin templates and I have pre-designed the entire pin. That way we not, we're not wasting a ton of time with this tutorial. And all I'm gonna do is simply go to elements and search for a new video. So I'm gonna duplicate this one because I want you to show you, I wanna show you how I find the videos themselves. So go to elements. Now to use this feature or any of the features I'm talking about in this video, you do have to have a Canva Pro account. If you are not a Canva Pro member and you would like to sign up and get a free 30 day trial, you can go to the description down below where I will put my link and you can sign up for free 30 days. Now, what I want you to do is simply search in here for videos and click see all. And then in the videos, you can see my recent searches are very random. Woman coffee shop laptop. That's how I want you to search for videos. Top down keyboard typing, woman typing on keyboard. So in this example, let's actually find a woman scrolling on her phone woman scrolling phone. And then what I want you to do is just add the video of choice to, to the grid in the back. Now, if you play this, you're going to notice that you can't actually see her doing anything on there. So in this case, you could take your element on the front and you could make it a bit transparent if you wanted to, or if you wanted to completely gut this design, you could do that too. So here, let's make this slightly different. We're going to move this up to the top. And now we need to change out our logos, which if you have a Canva Pro account, you can upload your entire brand kit to Pinterest or to Canva and quickly make your designs without having to 
upload everything in an awkward way. So we're actually going to lock this on the back and then I'm gonna reposition this um, a little bit. I don't like how it's so far up at the top. Okay, that'll do for now. So you can see, you can get the gist of this example. We're just adding a stock video behind our standard pin text. Now, the third example is actually creating a slideshow. This was one of the more fun ones that I've created in a while. I created an entire video pin, a slideshow, for my Pinterest membership, Pin Profit Academy. So what I did is these are, this is actually templates that my video editor and graphic designer has made for the Academy. So I took her templates that she made for the Academy and I made a entire pin for marketing the Academy essentially. So how to learn Pinterest marketing, there's templates, 14 on demand courses, um, we are going to edit this just a little bit, make it a little bit more succinct. And then I put individual courses, like I'm calling out individual things in the academy. So I would actually change this a bit to say ready to learn interest marketing. And then I would probably want to put some sort of subtext on here or in the, the next slides, go ahead and expand on the fact that I want them to check out the Academy. However, for today's example of a video pin, we are not going to get into what makes a good video pin. We're just going to get into what the tactical tips to make the video pin in this example. So each slide is an individual static image that I created. Now what you're going to do is you are going to download this entire file as an MP4, all three slides at the same time as an MP4 file. So I'm going to go ahead and download that one. I'm going to go ahead and download slide number one as well on this one as an MP4 video. And then on this one, I'm going to go ahead and download that one as an MP4 video. And then I'm going to show you while those are downloading, so they don't take forever, I'm going to show you the fourth option, which is actually uploading a video from a third party platform and making an additional slideshow type video. So this is actually an idea pin that I made. So I don't want to, I want to basically take the idea pin that I made and make it one full video. So it's very similar to this slideshow example. However, I'm taking the video that I made for TikTok and I'm inserting it into the very first slide. Now you can also do this by simply creating a new project and going to idea pin. We just want the idea pin size and test driving this tool called repurpose.io. And basically as it stands right now, I'm repurposing videos from TikTok into Google Drive so I can download them and upload them into Canva. So what I'm gonna do is go to my untitled design and I'm gonna add a grid to the back and then I'm gonna upload this video and I'm gonna insert it in here and then what I'm gonna do is add my logo onto the bottom. I love how the majority of my videos on video pins or TikToks are me looking superbly homeless. <laughs> But it's totally fine. So in TikTok, I always add text onto my videos, almost always. And I also add captions. So then when I download those videos from TikTok using repurpose.io, they come over to the Google Drive and they're fully optimized, ready for me to repurpose to another platform without the watermark. So then you would simply just download this one. And this is example number five. and you would download that as an MP4 video. Now, same exact philosophy of using third-party video platforms. If you're like me and you create YouTube content, then I could come in here and I could pull out any of my videos that I have made and I could make a video pin with them. So obviously, these are the full cut, like the full cut video. However, I could have my video editor if I wanted to cut out like 30 second chunks 
of these videos, upload them to Canva, slap them inside of a template like this and make a video pin from it. So this is very simple. You do not need to go out of your way. Now, a couple of really quick hacks for you if you are doing face to camera videos, the easiest, the single easiest way to get video and add text and then download it with all of the additions that you made to it is by using Instagram stories. So in your Instagram stories, you have the ability to film that video face to camera, add all your text, and then in the top right hand corner, you can click the dots and click download video. It will download to your phone with all of the text and everything on it, and then you can upload that into Canva and make a pin from it. So perhaps you are filming your printables. Maybe you're filming the products that you sell in your store. Whatever it is, you can do that using the Instagram stories feature and not post it to Instagram stories, just simply download it and then upload that to Canva and make your pins as is. So this is how I walk you through creating video pins in my academy. This is how we make video pins for our clients. Now, a couple of things to note, because I want you to be fully prepared. When we upload these videos to Pinterest, you can use the tagging feature. So I'm gonna click create a pin, and then I'm gonna go to here and go to downloads and drag them all over. Okay, let's take a look at this pin for the academy that I made. So if I rewind it all the way to the front and hit play, you can see that it's gonna animate. So it's gonna go from one slide to the next. Now, I preferably would speed this up a little bit and not make it take so long. However, it is only 15 seconds and it's gonna loop. So what I'm gonna do is create a pin title for this. Okay, so I've optimized this pin and I'm going to start adding tags to it. So you want to add a title, a description, add the URL where you want it to go. And then you want to start adding your tags. Now, tags seem to confuse some people, but I want to add relevant tags related to the topic at hand. So the topic is Pinterest marketing. There are not tags related to Pinterest marketing, but there are tags related to blogging, social media, and small business, which are all highly relevant. Now we are also gonna do that small business marketing. And then you could search for like marketing or social media again, and social media quotes will be a good one. Now for all of the rest, you'll do the exact same thing and you will publish those to Pinterest. So what we wanna do is we actually wanna just change the board really quick. I'm going to put this on my beginner's board and I'm going to go ahead and publish it now because I want to take you to the front end of the profile and show you what this looks like. Now, here's what the video looks like on the front end. You'll see the stats at the top. I do not usually rely on individual pin stats. You can see the board that it was pinned to, your description and your link. And then obviously this is your information, so it's not going to give you like a follow button or anything like that. However, you'll be able to see the likes that are on the video, any comments that you want to add. Um, we can add a comment here. You can highlight comments if you want to. So if you open up your comments, you'll be able to highlight them. It's being glitchy and it's not showing me my own comment. I'm not at all surprised. <laughs> Pinterest is being glitchy, happens. Um, however, you can see all of that information here. Now, something to note, and this happens on mobile too, if people click on the image itself, you're not going to leave the platform. In fact, you have to click the three dots in the bottom right-hand corner on mobile to leave the platform, or you have to click this link here to leave the platform on desktop. So that is why I'm telling you that video pins are generally only good for engagement purposes. They are not the greatest organically for 
creating traffic driving pins. So just be aware of that. And that's it. That's how you create video pins using Canva.